welcome back to our english class today we are going to discuss lesson 6 expert detectives by sharda dwivedi please open honeycomb textbook page 85 the author or the narrator that is maya only she recollects her childhood days i hope you are clear what i'm saying maya is the author herself and she is talking about what is happening in the story when she was a child and her brother nishad their mother was a doctor and their neighbor mr nath was her patient they are curious to know about him and start interrogating maya considers mr nath as a crook or a criminal but nishad doesn't agree with her let's check out the dedication and curiosity of the brother and sister in collecting information about mr nath maya a girl of 10 and her brother nishad a boy of 7 did you observe or did you read through the lesson he is called seven in the story and do you know why he is called seven in the story because the name nishad means the seventh note in the musical scale now both were curious about one mr nath you can see in the picture who had been living at shankar house for over an year and was their mother's patient he was a very lonely and thin man and looked starved starved means uh, without food for many days maya was of the opinion that he was a criminal on the run criminal on the run means it is an idiomatic phrase and it means that criminals who are trying to avoid being caught by the police and uh, here uh, she feels that mr nath was escaping uh, from the police by being caught by the police and had lots of money stacked somewhere in his room while nishad on the other hand was considering the possibility of him being just a poor friendless soul who had no proper means to sustain himself so here maya doubts that mr nath was a criminal who was trying to escape from the police but on the other hand uh, nishad feels that he is just a very poor uh, man and he doesn't have any friends and he is very lonely however one thing that both agreed on was that there was something peculiar and strange about mr nath one day while playing one of the marbles went into mr nath's room and to extract it the children went there for once they had a look at mr nath and since then began debating about him and his possible profession so they start arguing that uh, about his profession they were arguing with each other maya interpreted the burn marks on his face caused by a fire started by the police to turn him out of his house now here maya again started imagining that the scar the burn scar on his face might be maybe the police put fire uh, to his house and he escaped from that fire and that's why there is a burn scar on his face now nishad was helpless he did not have anything much to say uh, to defend uh, the uh, mr nath on monday after their mama's birthday that is mama means mother's birthday as maya had to spend the day with a school friend nishad went to mr nath's room alone and offered him a chocolate bar considering his state of illness now that day maya went to spend with her school friend and now nishad got a chance to uh, interact with mr nath so he goes with a chocolate trying to be friendly with him and also considering his illness that 
he felt that he was thin and starving so he wanted to offer him a chocolate when nishad later told of his encounter with mr nath to maya she was disappointed why uh, was she disappointed maybe she you know first of all she really uh, doubts uh, him to be a criminal no and she feels she's a very good detective that's why uh, she felt bad that uh, she could not get a chance to meet mr nath and what did she do she started inquiring about mr nath from her brother and she was listening very attentively to her brother that here he will tell more and more information about mr nath to her nishad had a talk with ramesh you can see the person uh, uh, on my uh, left side so here had a talk with ramesh who carried food from the restaurant to the strange man's room here strange man means mr nath he took us, uh, every day some food from uh, for him and found out that every sunday a talkative talkative means who talks a lot tall and here uh, why he is uh, stressing on the word talkative is because mr nath doesn't talk much i mean contrast uh, characteristics talkative tall fair stout stout means a bit fat and bespectacled bespectacled means a person who wears spectacles is called as bespectacled man came to visit mr nath so he gives information uh, to nishad that uh, a man visits uh, a fair tall stout bespectacled man uh, comes to uh, visit mr nath every sunday and he got one more information about him was that he also found out that mr nath though did not care what food was brought to him he tipped ramesh well so here mr nath never bothered that what food ramesh was bringing for him to eat but he was giving good tips i know i hope you know what is a, a tip you pay extra money to the person the waiter or whoever it is for his service he has done now maya the great or the expert detective of the story she starts interpreting that all this was a great conspiracy now here conspiracy means a secret plan by a group uh, to do something harmful or unlawful so she feels she starts doubting uh, that uh, be spectacled man and mr nath more and uh, she feels that he was an accomplice accomplice means a person who helps another man to commit a crime is called as an accomplice so she feels that these both together are doing some crime and that is why uh, this mr nath was giving such huge tips to ramesh adves from where would he get that money maybe the, these both are looting or stealing money from uh, somewhere now nishad wondered at his sister's imagination and thought mr nath a quiet ordinary man so he is he he was against uh, uh, from the beginning uh, nishad was against whatever maya was doubting no so he just expresses his opinion says that i feel um, that uh, he is a very ordinary man and uh, do you know what answer she gives she says that yes many criminals are usually ordinary looking so uh, she feels that criminals look like that only from outside they are ordinary but they do Uh, many wrong or unlawful things students the story seems very exciting and interesting yes you were all too involved in it i presume so shall we continue the remaining part of the lesson tomorrow so stay wondering and i want you to read the textbook also for better understanding that's all for today's class thank you